And I think chapter 28 is great at this in terms of showing all the ways that the devil wants to get in the way mm -hmm. between us and between God. And I really think there's three major themes okay. that, that we see here in, in chapter 28. Uh, one is anger. Verse 20 of chapter 28 says, For behold, at that day shall he rage in the hearts of the children of men and stir them up to anger against that which is good. So anger can, get, can, can interrupt uh, revelation. Another one is, is a kind of apathy of like, oh, I, I don't care. I, I, I don't need anything else. And he says this in, in verses 24 and 25. Therefore, woe be unto him that is at ease in Zion. Mm. Woe be unto him that crieth all is well. There's a sense like, I don't need to move anymore. I, I, I don't need to, to do anything else. And then another one, of course, and, and we see this throughout the Book of Mormon, is pride. Uh, the way that pride can get in our, our way. And in verse 22, it says that the devil flattereth people away and kind of tells us just what we want to hear. And so I think there are all these different ways that, that the devil is either wants to get in the way mm -hmm. and interrupt that communication between us and God or just make sure that we're not listening at all. <laughs>